Hello again, everybody. Um, I wanted to do a follow-up video uh, on Echo and the Lantern because I realized in watching my own videos uh, that there was actually certain things uh, explained. Let me just turn this down a tiny hair and I see what's going on here. Um, there were certain things explained that I had overlooked. Um, I I'll be honest, I'll still put my cards on the table for Mr. Fillion. I, I would prefer things more overtly explained at times. I'm but then again, I'm somebody who likes things to be very explicit. Um, but that said, there were things that were explained and I was, it was just pure user error that I was missing them. So I want to do a, a follow up playthrough, um, and take those things into account to see how that affects my gameplay. Um, one of those things, very simple, just to comment on the, uh, the last, uh, round we played, uh, the wooden sword that I mentioned got burnt up and I was confused, isn't it a sword? It actually did say it was made of wood. I think the graphic looked wooden as well, come to that, but it actually did specifically say it was made of wood in the descriptor. And I just, uh, I just didn't notice. Um, so that's on me. Um, another thing that's very key, I, I mentioned that I was confused by these three status bars beneath the character. Um... It is explained what those status bars are during the tutorial. The thing is, during the tutorial, there's text at the bottom and there are graphics at the top. And I was interpreting the graphics to be just sort of a cute uh, addition to entertain, but not containing pertinent information. I assumed the text would contain all the information I needed to know. And therefore, I didn't often marry the graphics to the text in my brain. But there is actually a bunny standing holding a stick pointing out certain things. And he is pointing out you know, when it's talking about experience, if you look closely, the bunny is holding a stick pointing to the top bar. So that top bar is your experience. Likewise, when he talks about the hits streak, that's the middle bar, and the bottom bar being your hunger. But the only way you'd recognize this is if you see that he's holding a stick pointing at these things. So I, just for me personally, again, even, even adding in the text the word something like, as illustrated in the graphic above or something, that would help me to know, oh, I've got to look at this graphic and know that there's something being pointed out. But then again, you know, some people are just brighter than I am, and maybe they wouldn't have a problem. Um, but anyways, that is some stuff I learned. Uh, I also did notice when I was playing the warrior, uh, when as soon as the lantern turned purple, a little icon popped up for my character. I'm not sure what that icon means, but I'm, I'm, let me go through this. Let me, let me actually start the, uh, the game here. And uh, yes, 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 we're using my keypad again. Let's start a new game. I just want to show you something. Uh, yeah, let's go through the intro. I shouldn't be dismissing this. This is a very cool intro um, animation. Most most roguelikes, certainly most free roguelikes, do not have such a thing. Pretty cool. But having already witnessed it, I wouldn't mind a way to skip it. Okay. Maybe I just did skip it by pressing A. Okay, I was trying to before. If you notice the gain, warrior, and then there's a little symbol next to the gain. That is the symbol that popped up when the when the world turned purple. So presumably, at least one of the effects of the lantern is that I mean, there are five character classes. There are five phases of the lantern. When one when a certain phase comes up, you gain an ability depending on which class you're playing. I don't know what those gains mean offhand at this time, and I don't know that there's a way to identify what those gains mean. Again, information that I mean, maybe there is. No, I guess not. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't mind the ability to even use a mouse to hover over the S and find out what that flashing S means, because I don't know what the hell it means. But, um, but presumably during some phase of the lantern, possibly, no, I was going to say possibly corresponding to the color of their armor, but no, the warrior was definitely purple. Um, that game pops up, and you gain that ability for the duration of the lantern being up. Um... Which is pretty cool. I'm hoping the lantern does more than just that. I'm hoping it has, you know, massive other effects. Uh, I did mention that events sometimes occur, but uh, but yeah, that's what I learned. Okay, let's play. Uh, I didn't see anything about a daily special. Did I overlook that? Am I just blind again? I didn't. I didn't notice anything. Maybe maybe only certain days have a daily special. I'm tempted to play a wizard because it'll mix up gameplay a lot. But you know what? No. Let's let's pick up and and use the information we gained and and play a warrior again and just. Uh, hopefully uh, come to better understand what's going on here. Let me turn up the volume in my ears now because I turned it all the way down. There we go. Um, and maybe we'll do the same thing. Again, here, the ability to know what these items do would be great. I'm not going to take magic defense plus three because uh, it's just going to drop anyway. Let's go experience plus 15%. Because 
uh, in Caverns of Saskazian 2, if you play a warrior, their initial unique ability is that they get plus 15% experience from all combat kills. Okay. Go to the dungeon. We have... Oh, we... Extoli points. These would be if... If we had completed a previous game, or if we earned extoli points in a previous game, um, however we however we do that, uh, we would now be able to spend them to make this game a little easier. But we didn't earn any because we sucked. Let's go to the dungeon. Prepare for action. Okay, here we are again. Don't forget to equip. It does tell you that right here as well. I I, I know that from my first playthrough, and I just totally forgot. Uh, so let's go to gear. Let's equip this stuff. And it does tell you here what the, what the thing does. It has an attack rating of two. It's wooden. It specifically says wooden. Not wooden. Defense 2. Defense 1. And it may burn if hit by fire, so it's wooden as well. Um, and if we look at our special to start with, we have fire probe gear. We understand that. We know about this because we took it. This, uh, I thought this might have been the, the little red icon that popped up during the purple thing, but maybe not. I don't know what this, uh, maybe it's just because I'm a warrior, or maybe it's just in general. Maybe it's because I'm using the club. I don't know what's causing that. I wouldn't mind that as well. Like, what is what is the impetus for this ability? Shield block, I can guess that's because I have a shield equipped. I Do all characters gain plus 8% or is that because I'm a warrior? I don't know. The only reason I ask that is it says through your shield skills. Does everyone have the same shield skills? I don't know. This I know because I'm a warrior for sure. And this I assume is because I'm a warrior. Okay, let's start exploring. We're going to do better this time. Let's go kill this little bugger. So, oh, he blocked me. Or I blocked him, I guess. Sorry, that was because he ambushed me, I guess. So, yes, uh, what I can tell you is the top bar, the little red bar, that is your experience points. Underneath that, we have the hit streak. If you remember, if you hit people again and again, uh, sequentially, that bar will fill up and you'll gain some sort of bonus rune. I'm not sure what the bonus is. The green bar at the bottom is your hunger meter. It'll de decrease until you f eat. Here we gain some gold again, I, I assume. <laughs> Even where plus 8 gold might make sense, I don't know. Plus 3 gold, I assume. And some experience, I guess. I also did confirm uh, in watching, yes, uh, we can go see this minus 1, minus 3. A, if you look at the, the pattern on the writing, it's got sort of a, a brighter green base on the minus 1. And it fades up to a lighter green above that. <clears throat> um, exactly as our stamina bar does. Or stamina, not our stamina bar, but the, the lettering of stamina. So I also, when I played, or played back the video, I watched the stamina decrease. So this would take minus one stamina. This would take minus three stamina. Um, I'm not sure that's ever explained anywhere. That's something you have to learn through observation. Uh, likewise, I still don't, don't, I still don't know what crush does. I'm assuming it's a better attack. But I have no way of knowing that. Or if there is a way to know that, I haven't been told the way to find out. Um, so, I don't know, man. Is there room for a status bar somewhere that when you're hi highlighting swing, it'll tell you what it does or something? I don't know. More info would be useful still. Uh, although there was more info provided than I thought. Uh, in my opinion, it could still use more. So these things are traps. That's poison shit. Dude, I don't want to walk. Or not poison, but it'll hurt me. Let's not walk across that unless we have to. Getting gold. Got a banana. So those ones aren't flashing, therefore they're not... That, that grass is not flashing, therefore it's not dangerous. Only the one that's flashing is dangerous. Could still use a mini-map, too. I would love a mini-map. Because I, I do get lost. I think I'm just going to call it here and not go... Uh, from the blue phase. That doesn't help us as a warrior, as far as I know, innately. Oh, man, though. No. Okay, I'll, I'll get hurt once. What do I care? It's only one damage, Jesus. Who cares? Got a short sword. Okay, let's take a look at that. This one doesn't appear to be wooden. A basic battle blade slightly used. I'm going to use it instead of my uh, club. I think the club gives me the two options of swing or crush, and the sword only gives me swing. But uh, it won't burn. I'm going to go back and cross that other grass, because who cares? Oh, it only leads me to here to get stamina. Or is that right? No, I can fish if I had a fishing pole. That's what that is. Doesn't help me. Alright. 
Let's go down. Snake. Which does not poison as far as we've seen in the past. Cheese as a food item. Green doesn't help us. As a champion bat, let's kill the basic bat first. I think I gained health for that. Alright, champion bat, I'm not afraid of you. A vampire bat, no less. It's dodging, which I assume means that I have a harder time hitting it. Nice little graphics that appear while he's dodging. But again, information on what that means. Like, if I could... My mouse is still appearing. You can't see it. I've turned it off for this video because it doesn't come into play. But, yeah, why, why not allow the mouse as well? What if I hovered over the D and found out what dodging does? I'm guessing it gives him more defense. Like, I'll be harder to hit. is logical, but how much harder? I did hit him. He's still dodging, apparently. He's a dodgy little fuck. Put me to sleep. That's kind of neat. I like the graphical effects, for sure, when that happens. I'd like to wake up now. Appeared to be doing like one damage every time I hit him. There we go, I did a bit more than one that time. Alright, we got him, and we leveled up. Um, now, I don't think there's anything... Oh, look at this. I don't think I do anything when I level up, do I? Like, I don't get... Po I think it's just automatic. I think my strength went up. I'm not sure what the color coding means. Unless it's just automatically strength is always red and magic is always purple. I don't know. I think I got all my hit points back. Alright, well, I don't know. Keep an eye on those numbers. I assume they just automatically go up. I, I don't think you have any say in how you level. There's still a... If you look here, it's still flashing with weird colors above my hit points, etc. Let's see if there's a... An explanation of that. I have one piece of fire prone gear. It's interesting too. The brackets apparently denote how many pieces. Because it said two before when I had the club. So it's just the shield now. We know that. Oh, because we have a hit streak experience bonus. Because we have a full HST gauge, we gain the above experience bonus bonus. We get plus 300%. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, maybe that's what that uh, sparkle means. That I have a full HST finger. Gauge. Watermelon slice. I'm assuming the first time I miss that will decrease. I don't know. Is it therefore a better tactic if you're trying to fill that gauge? Is it a better tactic if a monster dodges to stop swinging at it? Will that maintain the... As long as you don't swing, does that maintain the bonus, you know? Here, we hit it, we got 300% stuff, I think. Unlock it, even though it's red? Yeah, it's flat. It'd be a trap, I guess. Yeah. Mana. It is a pretty cool game. Um, I'm enjoying it, I, I gotta admit. I mean, enough that I actually wanted to... Uh, having watched the video, not only did I want to correct my mistakes, I'm like, oh, I want to play. Now, you see, it turned purple. There's a little red thing. Let's find out once and for all what that is. A little red sideways H. Warrior Rage. Feeling really mighty. Your attack and critical hit chances are increased. Doesn't tell me that old critical hit thing anymore. Maybe this replaces it? Alright. That's cool. Let's uh, kill things while it's purple. Oh, we got ambushed. I think that's the level think. I don't quite remember how to get out. <clears throat> I 
There's a ghoul or something like that. Some sort of zombie thing. We'll get to it when we get to it. Bring it home to bacon. Let's try and get it while our uh, while our gauge is awesomely up. I assume the oak club is the same as the other one we had, right? Yeah, they're both oak clubs. Yeah, we'll equip one for now. If one burns off, I'll switch to the sword. But for now, it uh, gives me the option of smashing. Ah, oh, fuck, we lost the purple. Another short sword. If I eat stuff... Some of the stuff heals stuff, right? An egg. That'd be alright. Let's eat it. Did a commercial for eggs many years ago. It was a fun commercial. I'll open that other one later. I don't want to open it right now when it's uh, when I'm, my health's a bit low. Worried about the trap. Zombie! Ooh, nice. So a hit streak does not diminish as long as you don't miss, apparently. That seems to be the case. Yellow. It is sequential, so purple won't come back up for a while. It's not like it's uh, random. It might be random how long it lasts, I'm not sure. I have 21 hit points. That gave me three. Three is a frequent event, maybe not a super common event. Maybe not an every time event, rather. All right, well, let's go open that last chest. Wherever the fuck that was. It will have maximum money for going in the, the store. What does this do? Ooh, attack five. That's pretty good. What's how much money I got? Ooh, I have enough too. Cool. Done with spears. Now here's the thing. I another thing I would say. Wooden, wooden. Okay, it's wooden voodoo mask. So that can burn, presumably. That's kind of neat. Increases all damage done with spears. By how much? This is the next thing I would say. Defense 2, strength 3. Do you only get that if you're using a spear? Or is that is it innately gives you defense 2 and strength 3? And on top of that, increases damage done with spears. I, I'm assuming that final statement is the actual statement. I don't have enough money for it anyway, but I do have enough money for this, I think, don't I? Yeah. Let's buy this motherfucker. Alright, that's all we're going to get for now. That's all we can afford. Let's equip our hand axe. So we're currently using this, which is attack 2. Awesome, attack 5, and it doesn't say anything about being um, wooden, so I guess we're safe on that front. I think we've explored the level. I think it's time to leave, but I have no recollection at all of where the uh, stairs were. If we saw them. Oh, we're back to here. Have we seen the stairs? I don't bring them now. It's purple time, but that doesn't help us because there's no monsters left because we killed them all and I don't know how to get off this level. That was be my two. Maybe there. No, there's not. I didn't mean to wait. Sorry. Um. Those would be my two requests. If there's feature additions in the future, one would be just ways of getting greater clarity. Again, a, a mouse 
that I can hover to learn information would be ideal. But barring that, I don't know. I have no idea how you provide more information. Uh, one simple thing I did think of. Um, in that last video I was watching, uh, when I killed, or when I touched a statue, I gained lightning resistance. And the words, lightning resistance, popped up in addition to the little icon. But say when the purple thing comes up and I gain that rage, it's just the icon, which, again, if you're unobservant like me, you wouldn't even notice was there. I wouldn't mind the words warrior rage popping up in the same way it did when I touched the statue, for instance. It would help clarify things a little bit. Oh, where the fuck is this exit? Have I encountered an exit? I'm going to starve to death on this level. What the fuck? How do I get out of here? Um, Mother of Pearl. I have no clue how to... Yeah, I guess so. What would you say to some cheese? Do I need points plus four? Yeah, that'll help. Let's do that. Gear. Let's eat. And you'll see that bottom, uh, that bottom green bar refilled somewhat. We I mean, can eat more. Do we need stamina? I guess so. What's my maximum stamina? Let's check that out first. No, I don't need stamina, so I won't eat anything with stamina in it right now. I don't need a hit streak either, so I'll just leave it like that for now. Oh wait, what's this banana do? I'll leave it like that for now, but I'll eat more when I get hungry. If I get hungry, obviously. I'm there's I'm missing a turn somewhere, probably. Either that or it generated a level without a staircase, and I don't think that's likely. And it's something that anybody would have play tested out very early on. But I can't deny having a bit of a worry there. I guess shouldn't I have found it by now? Where in the Christ is this damn staircase? I don't know if there are secret doors in this game. I don't think I mentioned any of the tutorials. Yeah. Ah, man, uh, uh, like I said, a mini-map, <laughs> I may die due to a lack of a mini-map, because I just I get so damn lost. I guess I could graph it out on a graph paper, but not with these arms. Are you fucking kidding me? Mm. Oh, fuck it, I'm, just, I'm tired of, I'm tired of popping up. There. Oh, there it is. To my left. Jesus. Alright. That's just me. I didn't see it. There's the stairs here. So that, those ones are here. Leveled up. So my attack... Oh, I was going to say my attack went up, but did it. Because I'm also using a, an axe. My M def went down for sure, as it should. I think my trap went up from 20 to 27. That's how well we disarm traps, I think. My strength, I believe, went up. My dexterity might have. I didn't really notice it. And constitution might have. Banana, thank God. Oh, that's right. We don't need any stamina right now, so let's not even drink that thing. I got about five minutes left, and I got to get ready for an audition. Oh, let's kill some things. But uh, I am having fun with this. I'll, I'll continue it when I... Uh, well, not when I return, then I gotta go stupid work. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but tomorrow I'll continue it. That might be it for this level. You'll see how much more my enjoyment goes up with the game. How much vat slithering sounds. That's kind of neat. Maybe, maybe it's a special level with a lot of snakes. And trees. Seems to be a special level. They do have theme levels on this. We saw that one where it was going to explode and that kind of stuff. I think that's pretty cool. Um, but again, to note, how much more my enjoyment of any game goes up when I understand the rules. Um, so again, uh, just a... Uh, a plea, not just uh, in this game. I just mean in general, for all game designers, myself included. Bear in mind that clarity is probably the single most important feature of any game. 
Because you just can't you can't enjoy playing if you don't know the rules, right? Then it just becomes coin tosses. That's a, an in. Sleeping there will give us back hit points and stamina. Oh, I disarmed it. There you go. That's pretty cool. And uh, just getting a beer will restore stamina. And again, here's another little thing. I mentioned that in the in the tutorial. I absolutely spelled that out in the tutorial. But what if you forget? How do you learn that again without going through the tutorial all the way? If uh, if there was a way to annotate it when we're in there, when you when you click beer and it's like this will restore your stamina. Are you sure? Say. I oh, got an ambush in. Okay, he missed us. Our hit strike is still maxed, as far as I can tell. Hit streak, rather. Yeah. Oh, we did get poisoned by that guy. Got a quarter staff. How's that do? By comparison, attack three. The preacher. I think that's the comic book character. I'm not that familiar with the preacher, though. Uh, um, no, I'm fine. Flowers. Yeah, give me three. Very common effect. So we can go in and we can exchange hit points for... Uh, what are my maximums, too? And again, even even something like that. Uh, like, having to go here to say, am I at max? 33 out of 40. As opposed to, say, a, a simple UI or 28 out of 28. Is there a reason not to include that up there? 33 out of 33 or 33 out of 36? 28 out of 28? As opposed to having to take the time to go here. Whoops. Here and find out. Anytime before I you know, use an effect. There's minor UI uh, notices. And I... I uh, oh, cool. I want to be careful it doesn't sound like I'm um, attacking this game unduly because I, I do think it's a pretty cool game. Um, but anybody who watches this channel knows I just point out every every thought I have on game design as I play, and that's one place I think this could improve. And uh, it's nice that some, some of the games I play, the designers will never see uh, what I've said. But here I know that... Mr. Fillion will at some point uh, hear what I have to say, and if, if, he, if he agrees, then presumably he'll implement it, and the game will, for my taste, benefit. All right, let's kill this thing. Oh, nice. I don't know what it was, but we killed it. Got a turkey leg. Let's go this way first. Oh. Chest monster. Oh, I, my hit streak disappeared. Even though I think I hit it. Maybe I missed something earlier and didn't notice. Oh, because it knocked me asleep? I don't know what the hell. I don't know what caused my hit streak to disappear. That's too bad. And there, for sure, I missed. <laughs> Want the game. Okay, the stairs out are over here to the left. Let's go to the right now. The Book of Curiosities. Mine, I think, has a typo, which has no U in curiosity. <clears throat> Pardon me. Y uh, no. Last time I did this, it fucked me over, didn't it? No. I don't know if it fucked me over, but it uh, it changed my strength and... Ah, fuck it. You know what? Let's, oh, we can't go back in. I mean, raising my dex would let me hit me more often, which would give me greater hit streaks, which might increase my experience earnings. Alright, this is a good place to end it. we got 30 seconds left on our 30 minutes, but I'm going to call it here so I can go get ready for this audition. Um, yeah, I'll finish, uh, I'll finish up this game tomorrow and, uh, upload it, uh, in the nearest future. Um, like I said, I'm definitely enjoying it more now that I've, I've got a better grasp of it. Um, so anything that can be done to help a, a new player get a, get a full grasp of those things, I think will, I assume will assist their enjoyment as well. All right, I'm out of here. Let me see. I press B and I go to quit. Yes. I assume that saves. 
Excellent, thank God. <laughs> it's not another Aliens RL moment where you quit and it's just gone. Oh, I guess we're done. All right, see you guys.